Good morning, Modern Setters. It is another early morning. We're gonna be starting an inside project today and I was just lying in bed thinking, we don't have the fasteners we need. So we need to run out to Lowe's to go get some fasteners because I haven't gotten them yet. And today, it's not an outside day. It's definitely an indoor project kind of day. All right, that should do it. I'll meet you guys up at the OGP. I figured we better check on the egg laying chickens that are in the new portable chicken coop. Good morning, peeps. How's the uh, new chicken tractor going? It's looking good. I'll get you some more food and I'll fix your water. I'm not seeing where anything has tried to get into the coop. So that is a good thing. Hold it up nicely. We did have a good wind and rain last night, so it's nice to see that the portable coop is looking good. You can't even tell that we had that. It's pretty wet and soggy, which is kind of a disappointment, but on the same hand, I've been keeping a track on the weather and trying to plan our projects accordingly we have one project that we needed to get wet and soggy to finish up so i'm liking it for that reason i'd like to get a few more outdoor projects done that don't need to be soggy for but that's not happening today so we're gonna be moving and working inside we are gonna be sheathing this room differently because this is going to be the greenhouse room slash butcher shop for now while we're living in this part of the house this will be the butcher shop. So we need to make sure that this wall is waterproof on this side and all the way around. So we ended up going with a PVC board for our walls to make it waterproof. The stuff is a little expensive, but when I sat down, I figured it out. It was no more money than doing shiplap siding or like tongue and groove and ended up being cheaper because on this wall we already have it plywooded so we're using quarter inch thick of the pvc board on this wall and then on this wall and this wall we're going to do half inch thick if you go to the three quarter inch it is really expensive but half inch and quarter inch is not too bad and this will make it waterproof and scrubbable and we can paint it. I think this PVC board is gonna work out really well. One side is smooth and one side is got texture like wood grain. I think we're gonna do the wood grain out. So one of the things I was looking for at Lowe's this morning was shortest screws like this. These are two inch, this is all I could find the other day or the other week. And I don't want two inch want one inch or less and the only thing i can find in one inch screws are these ones and the reason we need to do that is we have our pocket door right here and if we do anything too long we'll end up through and through and scratching the door we don't want that so i don't know if it is where you are but it seemed like the selection of screws has been pretty slim pickings lately at our lowe's and home depot so i'm hoping these work we should so we'll find out but i'm trying to decide which wall i want to start on 
This wall will be a little bit easier. And this wall will take a little bit more effort. So we're just trying to decide where do I start? <laughs> so one thing that has happened, which I find kind of strange, is we have had an invasion of aphids. Just look at all those aphids. I've never seen them in here before. And then I came in one day and there was a whole pile of them dead on the floor right there. And then there's been a few up here, there, and then in that corner. I thought it was really odd how we came in and there's just that big pile of dead aphids. I've never seen them in the house before then. So I don't know. gaps and cracks before I forget. I ended up getting the liquid tight tight foam. I wanted to try this one for a while and I keep forgetting I can only find it at Home Depot. If you guys have used it, let me know what your thoughts are, but it seems a lot more rugged like this spray foam. Reminds me of a marshmallow when it comes out. That's for sure. Yeah, makes me think of a marshmallow or fluffinetter, I guess you could say too. A little strange. All right, I hate cutting this stuff. It just makes such a mess. But so do most things, I guess. Just tore that little bit off down there and it totally looks like a marshmallow while it's drying. Kind of feels like one too once you heat it up for some more. Hey, Gina pulling in. This will be the first time she's seen it. I hope she likes it. I am liking that so far. Well, guys, I'm at the OGP. I'm coming here for a little while. I'm going to ease my way into it. Um, come see, hang out with Al, and maybe do a little bit of pickup, some cleaning. The ride up was beautiful. He did a great job on the road, as always. Um, that looks really great. I was excited to see some happy chickens in the field, soon some goats. Yeah, so really excited to be here. I'm just going to ease my way in, just be here for a little bit, and then um, go back to the other house. But little bits at a time feeling good but i'm not going to overdo it you're excited to see what it looks like i am it's been a while this looks like it needs a little bit of pickup but pretty good considering everything you've been doing <laughs> you just want to make sure i wasn't bored that's right oh wow it's so bright so bright the lights are nice huh awesome what do you think of the ceiling fan Big. No, when we were looking for big fans for our other house, we couldn't find anything. But then when we were looking for small fans in here, we couldn't find small <laughs> fans either. That's right. So, yeah. this is hooked on? That suit is, yep. I love this room. I love all the rooms. Right. This will make it nice and easy for you to wash the walls down yep. in this room. That's what we're looking for with this house is nice and easy cleanup and all that. So we're trying to be easy clean up, try to get it organized because we do have a lot of stuff we're going to be putting in here. So that's our goal.
I'm sure Al already mentioned this to you, but this house is full of these aphids. Like they're all over the top of the ceiling over here. And then they were, he picked up a whole bunch of manuscripts. I showed it this morning. Gross. One of the things when I was just coming out of the hospital and stuff is I really didn't feel like coming here. I couldn't anyway because I needed to lay low. And I think in my mind I had to make myself know that I needed to not be here because I didn't want to do things. So I just recently just got like, I need to be here. So that's really weird for me because in the past I've just had to be here. Um, so I think it's something in my brain I had to do so that I could give myself time to rest and heal. So but now I wanna be here and yeah, I'm excited. All right, I wanna seal up the butt joints really good. So that way these are waterproof too. All right, I'm heading out for the day. Did a little bit of cleaning, not nothing too strenuous, just a little bit of dusting. Picking up the counters, looks pretty good. Once we get the greenhouse room picked up, or done and picked up, we can get all this stuff out. And then everything hopefully look nice and clean and we'll figure out organization so that we can- then you have to keep it organized. Right, so when I label something, then that stuff goes back into the container. I'm watching a little bit of organizing shows, so Al might be in trouble. Yep. Yes. Anyway, so I'm out. He's doing a great job. Can't wait to see next time I come up what he's done. He always does a great job, isn't he? All right, so I'll see you back here maybe tomorrow. All right, so now that we have the bottom all done and the window is notched out, we're gonna go up high and then do thin strips up high and then I'm gonna piece in these areas and it's gonna look kind of funky at first, but later on we're gonna trim out all around the windows so you're not gonna see all the little pieces in here. So doing it this way will save us a lot of scrap pieces of this PVC board. We'll use less and it'll look nicer in the long run. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do.
All right, this should be the hardest wall in the room. There's a lot of little pieces and cutting around all of them outlets. We had two, four, six outlets and two, four, six windows to go around. So that was, yeah, definitely a pain. That wall shouldn't be bad around the door. This one should be fairly simple. We're not going all the way to the ceiling. I'll show you guys why later when we get to that stage. And this is just a full wall. So yeah, I think it should go pretty well. I'm gonna run out to the hardware store and I forgot to get some foam to wrap that PEX with when I was there this morning. So yeah, back to Lowe's. So I'm gonna head out and I will see you guys in the morning. What a foggy morning this morning. It's 38 degrees out right now. I wanna see what the temperature of the outdoor boiler is. We're at 173 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means it's gotta get like three degrees colder and it'll kick on again. But wondering how our wood situation is from overnight. Oh yeah, we still got plenty of wood. I like seeing that. It really didn't burn any wood overnight, which is nice. So it'll be interesting to see how much more wood it uses in the winter time when it's colder temperatures right now. Like I said, it's like 38 degrees out. I think that's what the low was for the night. So inside of the house should be a nice toasty 73, 74. It is nice and warm in here. It is 73. A little bit warm for working, but it feels nice when you walk in from outside. So I got to thinking I want to do this wall next before we do the end walls. So I got to clean up the foam that we put in on this side, and then we'll get this side up. I also got to put a couple of shutoffs in. We're going to have a stainless steel sink here. So I stubbed out our water lines. I'll have to put a shutoff in for those. When we get close to it, I'm going to have to cut out for our water spigot. This wall, we're only going to be using quarter inch PVC plywood, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, I'm going to get set up and get that ready, get it figured out. It'll be interesting to see how the quarter inch is to work with versus the half inch that we used on this wall. I like it. I'm liking how it looks once it's all finished and trimmed out. I think it's going to look really sharp. All right, so the real question is, is this going to be easier to work with because it's thinner or more of a pain to work with because it's thinner? That's what I'm kind of wondering.
One of my most favorite tools that I bought for this project is the Propex Expander. The downfall about it is, is you gotta go to a plumbing supply store to get all the parts and pieces. Lowe's and Home Depot don't stock them. So you kinda gotta know what you need when you need it. I'm gonna go turn the water back on. If you see any leaks, holler. That'd be good. All right, I'm not seeing any leaks. I don't know if you did when I turned it on. So I think we're good. I'll leave those covers pulled out for now. And we'll keep an eye on it. I'm happy with that. It's gonna be nice to have a sink out here, water, and then we got a hose bib. So when we're starting our seed start, we can have our hose dragged across watering. I'm looking forward to having a butcher shop and a greenhouse right attached to the house. It's gonna be so nice. I was hoping we were gonna be able to use it this year for butchering, but no, we weren't quick enough. So I'm here in the inverters running and I just checked we're making seven kilowatts of power. And the crazy thing is, is like how cloudy out it is. I mean, the sun's right there, but it is very cloudy. And to know that we're making seven kilowatts is awesome. So that way we're charging up our system even when we got good cloud coverage, where it's 97% charged. So that's from whatever we used yesterday when the sun set overnight and then today. So we'll be charged up in a little bit. We got lights, heat, the furnace running. The furnace runs 24 seven. Some parts of it, I should say, we have like circulator pumps and stuff like that. So we are using power constantly now. So I am feeling good about the Lion Energy solar system and that we sized it big enough for our needs. I'm really looking forward to this piece, nothing. A full sheet, I just put it, glue it, put it up, and he got over there. Well, that's where I'm gonna call it for the day. We got the two long walls done. 
I just need to get that wall and the door wall and we should be good. I'm gonna do something different up high over here too, just because, yeah, I just feel like it, I guess. So yeah, this is where I'm gonna end the video. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. We'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.